And remember, guys, it's two 10-minute rounds. We've got a hard stop at 10 minutes. And so if there's not a... No one's dead at the 10-minute mark, then it's... Uh, then it just resets. Resets sides. It's best of not... Of not who wins each side, but instead uh, okay. on, a re on who wins both sides, well, all the points combined, for that matter. Are they going live or live, live, live? Here they go. Off we go. The timer. Uh, assassin, see, assassin is taking that same route. He's staying low by the oil containers, keeping it very, very low. We can see Marines up on that ridge. Ooh, they're putting the peak scout shot out. Oh, he's wow. so close coming in there, so close. That was pretty cool. They're both still playing it very conservative. Interesting again, see? They're the same thing, they're keeping it nice long range, they're just feeling each other out like they did at the start of the first last round. Again, very conservative by our you side. Oh. Pilot Finn and Assassin are just holding themselves on the systems. The only way that Marine Force intrusion can get around this is if they do a really high maneuver like this. Oh, oh. so what close. What a high maneuver. They know what they're doing. I like this. This is going to be a really intense game. I Oh, look at that! Is that wow, assassin! They didn't—they didn't freak out there. But they're keeping their cool. They didn't. They're just making a small adjustment to the position. Trojan is oh. really utilizing those high curves. Yeah, they've got great skill on those TV missiles. A quick dodge. He's closing the gap now. He's coming for a kill. He's obviously decided to change up his tactics now. Milos, what Have do you it. see? Village was actually disconnected from the team speak. Ah, much of that. Oh no. Well, let's keep on going. TV out. Oh, oh wow. Did not expect that. I was thinking, you know, from those curves we saw, I was expecting Marine <laughs> to come in here. What a great kill there. What a great kill. Pilot Finn and Assassin are plus one. Eight minutes remain in the first round. <laughs> you know, that's that's changed the opinion here, that's changed the perspective a little bit, because I think, you know, we saw Assassin here who's playing very conservative, he was playing it very cool, he was sitting back, and we saw Marine there with those great curves, and we were thinking, okay, wow, this this guy up here, he's got the skills, look, he's getting those so close on target, and, you know, Assassin, he didn't have so many close, close shots like that, but then he no, came in too close, and they pulled up, and they just, bam, took him out straight away. Let's see how it pans out, this second one's going to be interesting. Waiting for it to go live. I think Marine thinks he's live. Well, I'll tell you that looking at Pilot Finn and Assassin, they're not moving yet. Oh, here they go. There we go. Now we're off. Yep, they're good. A quick, uh, a, a quick peek. Yep. This is more of a scouting TV. They did that last time. It's obviously a little signature start off. Really high up, holding the cisterns yet again. A little low. And uh, the assassin. Problem with these cisterns. Oh, go ahead. No, sorry. I'm just going to say the assassin team here. They, you know, worked for them last time. They got no reason to change up their tactics, so they're keeping it very similar. Interesting how very different it was to the first round we saw earlier. Where here comes another missile. Oh, he's going for those wow. curves. Wow! <laughs> what a missile shot! Using the cisterns to his advantage. Here comes the shot. Will he get anything out of this? Here comes the missile. Ooh, they're very, no, very, very it, close. <laughs> it misses it barely. Do you think Marine's going to have to change up their tactics here, Desco? Do you think they're going to stick with this? Well, they are playing very conservative right now using the... That's using what I mean. The, the, the mount of their advantage. They need to I like this turn though. Ooh, uh, he's not on there. They're going to need to make some choices here because I think the amount of time they're spending up here, the length of time between engagements here, and the fact they're already one, you know, one kill down, they need to make some choices yes. soon about what how they're going to play this. Are they going to stick like this? But if they're going to stay like this, they need to get some kills. They do. It's already five minutes in, nearly yeah. into the first round. Assassin here, look, he's got no hurry, he's got no need. This is, I mean, uh, 
Marine here, they've got everything to lose here. You know, they're, they're one down already. They need to take the game. They need to take the fight up there. Assassin's just yes. staying cool. There's no reason. Oh, look at this. Diva's coming in. No. Oh. That was lucky. Let's Marine see how Trojan's up. TV responds Returns. to this. <sighs> Misses it. This ore refinery position is has a lot of different areas. It allows them to really take advantage of this. But here comes the assassin response. Oh, and he gets what it. a kill! What a he kill! Gets it. Marine are going to have to change up their tactics now. They haven't got a choice. They've got no kills so far from that position. It's not working for them. And assassins just, you know, they're playing it cool and they're getting those kills. Marine's going to have. Are. I'm going to be very interested next one to see what Marine do. So here comes the reset. Let's. T I'm going to go to perspective of Palatine and Assassin this time. Mm. Well, I'm going to change over to Marine here. Okay. okay. I'm just waiting for uh, them to go. Now, four minute, 25 seconds remaining in the half. Yep, they're good to go. Just a little while. Here it goes. Marines still using the hilltop to start there. They're sticking with their plan. It seems that Pilot Finn and Assassin doing the same thing. Well, they've got every reason to. It's worked out very well for them so far. They don't want to risk anything. Trojan going for a very, very high curve there. I, I like this sort of long curve that Assassin is doing right now, but he's not going to have the range. Mm. No range. No. Marine Force and Trojan need to be able to be a bit more aggressive here because the time is not in their favor. No. Whoa, that was a close one, though. But they, they've had very close kills each time. Ooh, using a bit of the gun there. Oh. They want to be careful with that. Jump. Oh, yeah, be careful. Ooh, a very, very close shot there again. Now, here we go. Marine is pulling off of the, the hill line there. They're making a flank for the base. I see that. A crane. Do you think that Pilot Finn and Assassin see this? I don't know if they do or not. I'm not sure. And boy, they're close to that cistern. Be careful. If they if they if they pile this run, they could crash it. Missiles away. I Wow! Oh, so close. But now they've seen them. Now they know the game's on. Another and missile coming in. Respond missile. Ooh. No, not enough. How will Trojan respond here? Let's bring another missile Misses in. Misses again. I think they should have gone here for the the, the pod option, the rockets. Yes. I think they could have closed that gap more and unleashed the rockets without Assassin realizing. And there we go. They oh, they suffered for that. They did suffer indeed. Assassin and Pilot Fan with another point. It's 3-0. 2 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Marine, you know, they're, they're hanging in there, but I feel like they I feel like they made a bad call there because Assassin, they hadn't they hadn't seen them. They, if, As far as they knew, they were still behind that hill, and I think Marine and Trojan could have closed that gap. They could have pulled up, hit them with the rockets, and maybe finished with the missile as well. But as soon as yes. they put that missile out, Assassin could see the curve. They could see where it came from. They adjusted their position, and then they were on them. Yes. Milos, are you back? She's not back in the server yet. Okay. And we're live already. We're going. Marine goes for a reconnaissance. Now, interestingly, uh, interestingly, Marine now in the gunner position. This is the first time he's been in the position, I believe. I'm actually, yeah, you know, it'd be very interesting to see how he does it, does it for himself. Now, I'll tell you, Mar Marine and and Trojan. 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 First time they play with each other, so this is. I mean, they, they are sort of a, a pickup team. I, oh, I love this curve. Oh, oh, what a shot. Oh, what a shot. They're hurting them bad. It is a little painful. But in a good way, I guess. Pallet Finn and Assassin 4 to Marine Force and Trojan 0. We have 54 seconds remaining. They have time barely for one round. Uh, make sure that they know they have one minute remaining. Yeah, burn saying it. They have to do something quick. I mean, they can just stall it. Well, you know, you can't say anything against Assassin. They've been getting very, very accurate uh, skills at all ranges. Even the blind kills over the hill there, so... 
Yes. They got it all. They can go ready. Here we go. Now let's see whether Assassin play it the same or if they feel like they've got enough of an advantage that they can push something forward here. Got another long curve coming out from Marine here. Trying to so hit quite them. a distance. Ooh. Again, it's a recon missile. Just trying to get an idea of where they are. But they have four seconds remaining. I think that's the end of this round, guys. Mm -hmm. That's the end. Do we have the admin saying a switch? What are we doing? Because I think that's the end of it. Yeah, they're changing teams now, yeah? Yep, changing teams. And they're all dying. And the helicopters all land. Gonna switch up the scoreboard. Here we go. Just a, a, a minute, guys, while we wait for this to take place. In the meantime, though, let's um, let's again take a look at what this map is all about. Time for 2v2 Hilo, US versus RU and Operation Firestorm. This map, this map is one of the most interesting maps for Hilo because of all the obstacles. We have a number of points. We have A Crane, A Crane next to US base. We have D Crane, also near US base as well. We have Refinery right in the middle. But next to Refinery, we also have Cisterns, which is one of the more interesting places because of all the little places you can hide. We finally have Main Road or Road. This is what the map is going to be on this game, 2v2 Hilo Cup. Here we go. All right, guys, they're going live. And uh, here we go. Here come the missiles. Scouting one's out. I had to cut that cut that off a little bit. We're now looking uh, on our use side with Marine Force. And... They've got to change up their tactics here. They have to do something. Yes, they're down by four. They need to do something very deliberate. Pilot then assassin play on the US side with the Cobra. They're still keeping it really conservative. This is so unlike the first game that we saw where they had that oh. real good reading. Oh. They need to close this up and get in there. This, ta yeah, this yeah, tactic I, I, isn't working for them. They've got to change it. The time is not on their side. They need to be getting a lot of kills real fast. They've got to get five kills in the same time. They've got to get a kill a minute. Oh! Assassin again. What a what a shot. I thought they were able to get around that. They were not. Ha <laughs> ha. So right now, 5-0. Come on, I, I want to believe in Marine Force Intrusion to at least get a few kills here. I want to believe. <laughs> I want to, I, I do, I want to see them turn it back. They, they seem to be fighting. I want them to turn it back. <laughs> I think they're fighting. I want them to change it up. You talked about in the very last round that how Team Logic changed it up. Yes. And I think I want to see Marine Force Intrusion do the same thing. I want them to be aggressive. Okay, and here we go. I, I think eight the, minutes, twenty-three seconds. These matches are very much about reading your opponent, and that's something that you know. I feel like Marine and Trojan. I, I feel like they have the skills here, but this one tactic is not working for them. Assassin has got the skill at the long range, and they should have. You know, they need to identify that and move up because staying at this long range, they're gonna they're gonna be feeling the hurt, and they haven't got the time to yes. mess around here. Yes, they do not have the time to mess around. These long distance pot shots, they're just, they are Hail Mary passes. Whoa, Assassin moving up. A very bold uh, strategy. Oh! Wow. Assassin hitting the deck there. He's taking a little bit of damage. <laughs> he is, but then, then retreats back to his, his mountain sanctuary. I'm repairing up. But again, you see, look at this. Are there, why are they repairing up? Did they. They took a bit of hit. They, they turned around and hit the hill there, Assassin. They, 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 they actually were semi on fire, I believe. Will Marine Force and Trojan pieces are advantage? Wait a minute, are they on fire too? They are on fire as well. Are they? But they, they are repairing themselves, but they're just now getting back up. Yep, I see it. They got a missile coming out. Here comes another missile. And pilot Assassin hey, is ducking down. A long turn. Oh, it was no. too high. Too high. 
I'll tell you, I mean, this, this long, this long slug. Here comes a missile Exchange at a perfect exchange. Oh, it's so close on Assassin here. Whoa, an Assassin is out. He's out of the heli. Let's go to that he real quick. Are they repairing? No, he fell out. And uh, I think that was maybe a little bit of a mistake there. But he got the parachute. If he hadn't hit that parachute in time, he'd have been down. Oh, and we've got more missiles coming in there. Still, I've got to say, I don't think it would have mattered at this point because they've got uh, points to play with. Yes. The Marine is still playing it very safe. Where's that TV missile going? Whoa, that was a curve, but he did not have the distance yes. there. They are pushing closer to a refinery, but be careful. Watch out for those towers. And they're moving up a little here. You're Another TV, TV coming in. Coming. It's good on target. Oh, oh. What, a what a shot. Moving TV. target there. Assassin. Uh, and pilot can take up another one. He is an assassin. Zero, five minutes remaining. He is. He is an assassin. He's, he's going for that one hit crit. And what's, what have we got on the time and now? Reset. We have five minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Mm-hmm. I... I'll tell you that I, I, it's going to be hard to see Marine Force Intrusion getting back here, but I want them to get at least a kill or two. Yeah, I want to see them come back in here. Waiting for them to go live. Here it comes again. Live, live, live. Still playing conservative. Missiles abound. Just some scouting. They they could really use to their advantage right now the fact that the whole of the rest of the game has been played long range. If they could move up fast and low, I think they could catch them off guard. They're making a little yes. bit of a move here, but they're only going to the oil containers. They are. Assassin being a bit more aggressive. Here comes the shot. They know they're at cisterns. Will it be enough? Oh, oh, again. It is. Great kill. Great kill indeed. I think this is... I think he... It's, it's, it's damaging their morale. You know, they're, they've been taking these hits and they can't seem to get anywhere. And no. I think they've missed the opportunity think... now to take that take the game back to Assassin and Pilot. Uh, I think they should have made a move earlier. And I think now they've they left it too late. I think their morale is hurting a little bit. I, I got the real feel there when they were on the ground... Yes near the end there that they were sort of pilots asking we're still even going to keep going because it's 7-0 well I still have 4 minutes remaining yep, we've played to the end user was moved to your channel ok am I still going again scouting missile out going for that little recon it's going very high it's the same story. It's the same story over and over again. I think the Marine Force and, and Trojan just need to do something a bit different. Well, you know, it goes to show what I always say, be it helicopter combat or on the ground, how you read a battle is as important as your actual physical skill there. Because if you do not read it right, if you don't make the correct judgments on when to move and when to you know, judge your enemy, you suffer for it, and they have suffered for this, because if, if they had made a, a, a better reading of them earlier on, they could have played that to their advantage. And we saw that in the first game, and it was very, very good to see that. In fact, you know, that first game was a great one to see for this exact reason. You can see Assassin being much more aggressive now. He is going after it. Wow. Come on, Marines. Really it, but it seems but like Marines cool making a move. I like this making a move. Come on, guys. Very aggressive. I like this. Come on, guys. Put it on them. They're here comes the missile. Oh, it's a bit too, too wide of it. He's taking a little hit there. He's smoking. Oh, can he dodge this? Oh, he did. He does. Come on, guys, take it to him. They're hurting a little take bit. Take it here. to him. Here comes the missile out. No. Yeah, get out, dude. But be careful. They can use the stingers on you. Oh, here, here we go. Rocket First rocket pod engagement we've had. Come on, guys. Dodge. <laughs> Oh. oh! Oh dear! Pilot, first good, good kill for pilot. That pilot then takes him out. Ah, oh, good game.
What did Pilot Finn hit him with? Was that was that his rocket pods? Uh, it must have been. I mean, he didn't have any. Was it or? I believe so. I don't believe no. because I think. Well, let's ask the admins. Can you ask the admins what yeah. they what he killed? I believe uh, laser is not allowed. If that was laser, I don't know. And I need to stop the timer. He said heat seeker. Oh, heat seeker. Okay, that's what it was. Let's keep on going. It, yeah, it would be heat seeker because he, he didn't have altitude. Yeah. Or he had altitude and it was too much. Well, I thought. Yeah, sense. I thought he'd emptied his pods right there. So. He did. That makes sense. Let's keep on going. Yeah, that's that's fair. Heat seekers are fair. I thought that he, I thought that Marine Force and and Trojan maybe had low, low below radar, but they didn't. How much time we got? We have a uh, one minute remaining. Yep. Oh wow! User in your channel, time down. And just as fast, assassin takes out marine force. Yep, I missed that takes one because they were looking at that there. <laughs> marine force can't believe it. Score right now nine zero. Four, Forty seconds remaining. I got to tell you though as well, I'm looking very much forward to uh, assassin and pilot moving into some forward games here. Uh, yes. It's going to be very interesting to see who they get stacked up in the next stage. I agree. They have enough for one more round, maybe. 20 seconds remaining, though. Right, well, we're live, we're moving. We are. Marine and Trojan going all out. Come on, guys, they've got to get something here. I want them, we want them to get something, something here. I want to believe. I want to believe that they're going to get something here. We need to get a little consolation trophy. TV out. Full missile volley out. He is really high up there. Look how high he is yep. up. Taking a risk. Great dodge there. <laughs> he is taking a risk. A little bit loose. And that's the game, unfortunately. Admin says that's the game. It is It, it is the game, but let's see if they play it out. Let's see if they do. Oh, uh, I think... No, they're still playing it out. What? Oh, oh hey, hey, he's ECM. Yeah. You ECM. bad boy. It's the end of the round there. End of the round Bad there. boy. He's going for it. Oh! And they died. I think they got it out of the game. Oh, there he goes. Finn got him. All right, guys. That's the end of this round. We're going to the next round in just a bit. I'm going to go to my little desk. Uh, there's my desk. Looking pretty good. Luton, what were your thoughts on that round? Very different. From the first round we saw, in this case, Pilot and Assassin clean up 9-0. <laughs> let's, let's make no mistake, they wiped the floor with them. Um, it's going to be extremely interesting to see where they go from here in the next round when they go forward. Uh, but yeah, they've clearly got those long-range skills. But we didn't see how skillful they were at close-range engagements, uh, dodging that cover, moving up oh, around, did. like we did in the first game. So, an element there, a little bit unknown... It's going to be interesting to see how that pans out in the future games that we go on, you know, in the in the forward stages here. But um, I was a little bit disappointed with Marine there, Marine and Trojan, a little bit disappointed because, as I said in the game, uh, they really didn't read and take the fight forward. Uh, I think they could have done... Um, I think they could have done better. I, I think they, they did a little bit of a disservice to themselves. I think they could have made the move, they could have read their enemy and, and took the attack forward. Um, but they didn't and they, they got punished for it, unfortunately. So very interested to see what we can expect from Assassin and Pilot moving forward. Uh, I don't know which next one we're going to be checking out, but it, it surely will be a good one. Uh, and so stay tuned, guys, for the next round of this event.